practice of fasting has allowed me more opportunity to do things like I did last night and not show it like I should be showing it like all over okay <laughs> so um, one book that I've been um, reading li lately and I feel very privy to it is um, my business partner in crime Jimmy Moore sent me a little preview and I'm very excited to share with you that the complete guide to fasting um, releases worldwide on October 18th and it's written by Dr. Jason Fung and Jimmy Moore and um, it's it's absolutely incredible and something I was already doing since I began is this the Gia Gil? <laughs> hey Brian something that I was already doing is I was doing a 16 hour intermittent fast there's all types of fasting that you can do and one of them could be a 12 one can be a 16 it can be 24 it can be 36 it can be a five day on two day off like there's so many different methods and you need to find out what's best for your life Life, but there are some huge benefits to fasting and there's been a lot of debate over it for years and I love this book because the research is laid out the evidence is there and so it's not just a bunch of opinions like oh I'm gonna lose mass or I'm gonna starve or you like the military look I'm feeling military today um, so anyway what we want to do is um, you know when people are trying lots how many people last night like they just binged okay or just they just went after it okay I competed for five years and usually I would miss opportunities like last night where I would just see all the food so now when there's a holiday or there's a celebration I get after it okay so this is why I'm so passionate about this but um, what people tend to do after a night like last night is they wake up the next day they feel shame they feel guilty and what they do is they go into calorie restriction and a lot of people who go on diets use calorie restriction um, you know that's that's not what a lot of people who have aesthetically pleasing figures do they're not doing calorie restriction they're manipulating the um, the environment they're manipulating the hormones and so eventually and I talk to so many people they'll be on a calorie restricted diet and they will hit a plateau and it's inevitable that that's going to happen with calorie restriction and there's a huge myth when we tell people to eat less and move more um, what we need to do with fat loss is address hormones okay so it's all about the hormones and that's a reason why intermittent fasting for me has absolutely allowed me more freedom with what I eat so I'm just gonna tell you a few quick little bullet points um, because I have a call appointment coming up but I, I wrote them out so that I don't take forever and go down a rabbit hole as most of you know I do so fasting it addresses the hormones um, as meta when you start fasting your metabolism is going to stabilize and it's actually going to go up because it's going to increase your energy levels this is why people who actually can start practicing and getting it like you really do have to practice it you have to get good at fasting so it is a practice and there's lots of tips and tricks to help you which I'm so excited um, when the book releases that people can read that and learn how to do it better but um, another thing that happens is your adrenaline and your growth hormone goes up it increases because that's going to help you maintain higher energy and muscle preservation there's a myth that when you're fasting you would lose muscle that's not the case shown by science and I'm not going to explain science because we all know who I am and I will let dr. Jason Fung and Jimmy Moore explain the science to you on why your growth hormone goes up in a state of fasting to help you preserve muscle okay the other thing that happens when you're fasting is your blood sugar Sugar and your insulin levels go down as the body goes from burning sugar which that's what I'm burning this morning to fat which is where I'm gonna be in the next two three four days okay so and then this overall absolutely addresses the big problem that we're really all struggling with is insulin 
okay? Insulin resistance, insulin sensitivity, all, all the insulin issues. If we can start fixing, addressing that, we're all gonna be in a better state of fat burning. So, I'm not very good at fasting. <laughs> and so one thing that has helped me so much is one of the things I read in the book too was um, addressing hunger. What is hunger? Well, it's good to know that hunger only comes in waves. And we can drink water, we can increase our salts, we can increase our electrolytes to help us get through those hunger pains, okay? So just mentally acknowledging that your hunger will come in waves will help you out big time. The other thing that I do during my intermittent fast, so I stop eating around seven at night and I don't eat until 11 or 12 the next day. So I'm in a good 16 hour fast and I'm looking forward to actually participating and trying more after reading this book, which I wouldn't have addressed it with a 10 foot pole without the information that I got in the book. But um, what I did this morning, here's my I Am A Champion mug. Um, I put my keto cream in there, which has the butter and MCT oils in it, and um, saline cinnamon to help decrease insulin levels, okay? So this was a huge benefit for me waking up, and if you had a cheat meal like I did last night, you woke up ravenous, you woke up feeling hungover. So I put those good healthy fats into my body, started creating a little bit of satiety because I was absolutely ravenous, felt sick to my stomach. And then the second thing that I'm doing, it's about, I think it's like almost 12 o'clock now, and I'm actually, because I was such a naughty girl last night, I am actually going to um, do my fast all day today until tonight. Um, I just, I'm feeling actually pretty good after my keto cream, and because I have ketones, they help decrease my appetite and cravings, and they help regulate um, hormones. And so when my insulin is regulated, it's not signaling to the ghrelin hormone in the brain that I am hungry. And so I can absolutely get through any kind of fast I want when I am using fats and ketones. And I'm feeling amazing, but I just feel like I have to, you know, I'm like, I shot, shot my insulin up last night. So, um, you know, I'm gonna put my, 2.1. I'm using the 2.1 this morning. Um, I don't know if you can see that. The lighting's horrible in here. But the reason I'm using the 2.1 is because it has the medium chain triglyceride fats, and that creates a huge satiety for me. So when I'm like, yes, Brian James, I'm in my military gear. I'm going to get after it today. I'm going to reset my body, and I'm going to use this horrible cheat last night to um, actually probably have more of a drop than I would have had anyway. So if those of you are feeling guilty and shamed, don't. Use it. Go with it. You just wreaked havoc on your body. You you shaked up the metabolism. You revved everything up. And um, now instead of storing everything, we're going straight into a fasting mode. Okay? So not necessarily calorie re reduction, but intra-fasting to help address the hormones, which is in return going to help us with the fat loss. So, feeling amazing. This is going to provide my brain on fuel to work the rest of the day. So, I hope this video was a help to you. I can't wait once again to, I will, I will do more promo for it because um, reading the information on the fasting, the book, has already just changed my mind and I'm really excited to try some of these things out and reading the science and the anecdotal evidence was so powerful so I've got the fats I got the keto cream I have my ketones so the next step for me I'm an n equals one type of girl I love experimenting and I'll keep bringing to you my stuff live but um, like I said the complete guide to fasting released worldwide October 18th by my partner in crime Jimmy Moore and Dr. Jason Fung so can't wait to um, get it out there and have y'all start reading it. And in the meantime, I'll just share my little um, experiments with you. But feeling pretty good today, and um, we're going to hit it hard.